Cool. Good morning. Cool. Well, here we are. Good morning. Uh, we got that jazz rolling. <laughs> got a little bit of coffee rolling. That's all. Come in here shortly. And soon. Hello, hello, War Dog Leader. How are you? Mm. Get a nice little sip of coffee there. Hey! How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. We're we're doing something special today. A little, a little something different, different. All right. We'll let you guys come in here, catch up. You got a little prep work to do. I'm all looking for my towel. It's on my shoulder. <laughs> so I did a little prep work before. You guys have voted out there on Twitter, right? So big ups to all of you who jumped over there on Twitter. You guys said you wanted to make a savory breakfast pizza. So we're going to do that today. So I did a little prep work before. I got some potatoes, some little red guys that I sliced up, put them in the oven at a 375 right now. So they're, they're warming up. They're gonna be put on top of our pizza. So to get this started though, we need we need a few things, okay? So we're, we started with the, the applewood smoked bacon, uncured, okay? We got, got our little frying pan heating up right now. Gotta make sure the little oven on. Case, but I'm gonna throw these in the front end. Normally, I like bacon in the oven. It's usually how I roll. But today, we're doing it in the frying pan. I want to save a little bit of the grease. I'm gonna make a little bit of a gravy out of it to uh, make our our sauce base for our pizza. And it'll come out pretty nice. We've done it a couple times before. Normally I don't measure my gravy or anything like that, like my flour, but this, this time I will, because I know you guys out there, you, you want some recipes, right? So, oh, and uh, speaking of this recipe, I'm gonna be putting it out in a tweet later on. So it, it, I'm gonna link that back to the description here below. So when, once that's all said and done, we'll get to it. But for now, I'm just gonna lay out some bacon. Space it out if you can. Don't need to do anything with it, no salt and pepper, no nothing like that. Just just get it in, in the pan. Slice it up, nice little, nice little thin pieces, okay? Little, little, little tiny squares. They'll work great for this. Yeah, we're making some authentic, you know, breakfast pizza. Some detractive breakfast pizza. <laughs> oh, we got the nice jazz going on there in the background. Got some coffee rolling, some water. Okay, good morning a strong morning so I've been up running around doing errands things like that and uh, did, did the shopping for this which was nice got everything set up but yeah it was nice to get out of the house early something like that five sticks of butter I don't know about five sticks of butter but remember whenever you change from one type of thing to another vegetables to meat back and forth wash your hands okay don't, don't be, don't be gross. Wash your hands. It's your job as the cook to make sure everything's nice and clean. Everything's coming out wonderful. Right, right? Yo, what's up guys, what's up? Some oil spray from the can? Sometimes I don't. I don't like the little spray cans. Every now and then I use them, um, especially when I'm baking stuff. It's usually when I, when I go to that move. We'll see. It's gonna heat up, yep. Should be. Let's see here. I think my little burner gets stuck every now and then. Get the little disconnect. There it goes. Now I hear it. But yeah, we got our potatoes in the oven going. What are we going to top it with though? We got a little bit of pre sliced mushrooms. Alright, choose the easy route. Sometimes I like to go ahead and slice them up, but Easy route today, all right? We're gonna wash them still, 
Okay, but I don't know who touched these last. You don't know who touched these last, right? And and the mushrooms, anyways. Wash them up. We'll, we'll get to that. I got some some baby spinach, because you know you got you got you gotta have some variety of color floating around on your pizza. So we're gonna hit it with that. We got the mozzarella, the tillamook, shredded stuff, right? So. Yeah, big ups to all those veterans out there. Right, it's Veterans Day. That's why I'm here cooking with you right now. So, thank you for your service. No matter to what country you're from. I know that doesn't affront me, but thank you for your service. But to make that base for those lovely pizza. Pillsbury Crescent Roll sheet, all right? Sometimes you can do the pizza ones. It just depends on what you want. It's breakfast. Crescent roll sheets. We're gonna roll with them. And then a little bit of garlic. Everybody likes garlic, right? Keep vampires away. But we're gonna scramble up some eggs real quick, like add in a little bit of whole milk in there, make them nice and fluffy. We'll get those rolling. And then we kind of lay everything down in our nice and seasoned cast iron skillet. Alright, we're gonna put the dough out in here. Round it out, shape it up, crust it out, and then throw everything on there. All right. So hang tight. We're we're just gonna let everything kind of go. This is the nice joy of a of a live cooking stream, I guess, is to sip some coffee mm. and talk to all you guys sitting out there and chat. Hopefully your morning's been going well. Come on. Grab our knife here. I'm gonna start prepping some tomatoes. Um. Probably just gonna kind of cube them up. Usually how I like them on pizza. These are probably gonna be the last things to go on top of the pizza. That and the spinach behind it. So. Nice. About a quarter inch, somewhere in there. Kind of get them going. Your knife is nice and sharp. You get nice clean cuts on them. Wonderful. Kind of like this. This is what we're looking for right now. All right. Just a nice little cube it up. Make it nice and simple. All right. Check your ingredients. You're the cook. Oh yeah, you can. You can hear that now. I gotta buy some wooden tools later. I do like the wooden tools a little bit more than the plastic. But hey, that's just me. We'll move our frying pan. I think my uh, prep work for those potatoes are, are going well. So, we'll check in there. Put that here for our gravy later. Oh, those are looking good. Almost time for those. Got that all right now. So, I'm going to finish up my prep work. Hopefully, talk to you back and forth a little bit and enjoy it. Yeah, there's just something about cooking for me. It's, it's the fact that I get to, to make a meal for people I care about and, and have them enjoy it with me. It, and it, it's something, something about that. It's just, it's a nice feeling when people just sit there and the, the conversation's pleasant, right? Everybody's having a good time during dinner or whatever meal it might be. And you're just enjoying company, like sips of coffee, mimosas, whatever it is you're out for. Thanksgiving dinner, that, that one's a hard chore, that's for sure. But it's a labor of love. Um, Mrs. Proper, the commander over there. When it comes to Thanksgiving dinner, I get told one thing. Here's your beer, here's your whiskey, get out of my kitchen. All right, fine by me. No worries. That's gonna be good. It looks like we can probably save a tomato. We'll see. I don't wanna give it too much all over the piece. Just, just a couple little ones every now and then. So we'll throw it in the fridge. No big deal. Guess the next step would be to crack some eggs. So we got our bacon, nice and sizzling. Get going, you, you, you can hear it. I can smell it. it it's getting there. But again, we're, we're keeping all this grease. We, we want that business in there. And uh, if it's not enough grease, I, 
Got something else to go with that. Eggs, crack them, smash them on the counter. Do whatever it takes. I like to smash mine on a flat surface. That way I don't get any eggshells in there or anything. Throw them in the sink. We're doing four today. a nice little fluffy base for everything to kind of hang out with when it comes to making this thing. It's been a while since I've done something like this. It's been nice. Oh hey, there's there's 22 of you out there. Big ups on all of you. I don't know if I can check that real quick, Lord Dog Leader. I might have to go to the computer to check it. But either way, yeah, Phil was whining last night. They had to change around his uh Emperor, like his information for his PlayStation 5 coming in, and he fucked himself. Oh, he's on the phone with Amazon. Oh, that's too bad, Phil. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, so. Big ups to all you guys watching right now. Hit that like button. Share it, you know, if you, if you feel so kind to, because... You know, hopefully we can do more of these when you guys are coming in there. Get, get the word out. We do more of these proper cooking shows. I like it. I'm kind of seem to have a nice setup right now that we can work on. Oh, that's coming up nicely. That would probably be enough pork grease to get us by. We'll see. We'll see. Probably have to transfer it though to the Heather Pan back here when the time comes. Grab some of my milk. I do whole milk. I know a lot of people do 2%. I'm more of a whole kind of guy. You don't need much in there. Just just a, a little bit to get you going. It's going to kind of look like this. All right, a little, little bit of milk in there. A little bit of the eggies in there. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna beat them up with pork. All that bacon goes. Break up our yolks and stuff. Now I don't salt and pepper my stuff right away. I, I usually just chill, let it go. I'll probably salt and pepper them later when, when I start adding the ingredients into the pizza. If, if you add salt to your eggs a little too early, it, it ruins how well they kind of stand up, how how they come to be in form. So you want to save that for later. Sure, you can add the cracked pepper if you want right now, but uh, the, the consistency is where we're at right now. We that's what we want. Because so. this is gonna be our base for our pizza. Get some nice scrambled eggs going. That looks good. So, gonna be a little bit of the runny side, but that's kind of what we want right now. I'm good, I got a plate out here. Perfect. I was smart in prepping stuff like that. Turn on my fan so it doesn't get smoky. our little bowl here for when we start pulling off that bacon because some of it is getting there right now so we're gonna pull it off we don't need to get too too burnt we just want it to crisp up enough because when we get to the baking process it'll finish it off for us and you're, you're gonna spill you're gonna make stuff go all over the place it's part of cooking get over it Clean your kitchen later. But yeah, we're just gonna take all that delicious bacon. Oh, it's fried up. Oh, that looks good. Mm. 
No, I don't, I don't dump. Oh, there it is. The big winner dinner, chicken dinner. Hi. Welcome to my stream. Apparently I set off smoke detectors for no reason. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal though. Okay, we put that one in the back pan. And we'll lower that heat a bit. Ooh, a little bit of greasy grease all over here. We got to tell. Uh, it might have been Phil's unboxing video. You might be right. It wasn't me cooking. No, I, I never burn food, okay? Never. <laughs> so we got our bacon grease in here. We're gonna pop on over back to the fridge for some more milk. We're gonna start our gravy here. Get some flour going. I think a half cup of work. So just some all-purpose flour. No, no big deal. Don't need anything weird. You can use whatever you want, though. I know people like heavy whipping cream for their. Uh... All right. Measure over your sink. Easier cleanup. I'm gonna enhance that grease though. With some butter. Right out here. Oh, about a quarter cup of butter. About this much. You throw it into this with the grease. It'll help uh, fill out our flour, have that cooked down a little bit. Throw it in there. It'll melt out. We'll put our flour in there as well. Let that kind of all get cooked down. Yeah. Well. We're going to have a good nap after this, right? <laughs> Yeah, and throw bacon grease in toilets, right? Right? I, I figured I was going to get a lot of comments about that one. <laughs> I, I actually collect my bacon grease. And, and I usually save it. So, got a little, little like mason jar for us. I'm going to pour that bacon grease in here. But today, it's going in the gravy. You need a fork. You can also use a whisk. Right now, fork's fine. Get that butter going, get that flour going. Kind of move it all around the pan. Butter's gonna come together. You're, you're, you're making a little roux here to get our gravy off. We're gonna add some pepper to it later, some salt. Oh, so much salt this morning. I can't wait. I think we're gonna go do a live stream after this too. So we're, we're gonna eat this while watching Phil, I'm laughing at Phil. Because that's it's gonna be a good time. Oh, that's, that's looking good. So kind of when you're at this kind of state for your gravy base, looking like that. Yeah, that's when you start adding some milk. Just, just a little bit at a time. Again, I don't normally measure stuff. You can always add a little more flour later. We'll keep the milk out just in case we need it. But. Start mixing that kind of together. You want your flour to cook down so you're not going to taste it. And just slowly keep adding your milk. We're going to add some cracked pepper here in a second. Oh, that's going to get good. Then we're just going to start prepping on our uh, pizza. No need for you anymore, Mr. Frying Pan. Go there. But before, earlier, before I even started this, roasted potatoes, the red guys. Got some little red guys. We're gonna throw these guys on top of our uh, our amazing pizza. Okay, so that's, that's how we're rolling today. You let that milk start coming up. Slowly work your flour into it. 
You're going to get that nice pork gravy, that country gravy that everybody wants. Slowly just work it out. Again, that was about a half cup of flour somewhere in there. Oh, I don't see no clown. We're not watching DSP yet. That's for sure. We are not watching that guy yet. The nice thing is, gravy keeps pretty well. So you, you can save it for later, do something different with it. But tonight, who knows? Whatever you want. You just gotta work out the, that flour. Have it cooked down. Slowly get there. The art of making gravy is, is an interesting one. Because if, if you're gonna taste the flour later on, it sucks, right? Most people throw in a bunch of garbage in there. You don't need it. You don't need it. You're making a simple kind of country gravy for breakfast. A little cracked pepper, okay? Goes a long way. Throw it in there. Do a little shake. Have it all start coming together. I do sea salt. That's my go-to. I like the coarse stuff. Uh, when I'm prepping my meat, like a steak or something like that, a little sprinkle on that, a little sprinkle it out there, because it it, it it melts out pretty well. So so it, it'll hide it. Just just a smidge of salt, not be much. So for for the potatoes, I use the usual, the all-purpose. So what does it have in it? Salt. It's got some black pepper, rosemary, cayenne pepper. Garlic, a little bit of the, what is it, crystallized lemon, it says. So that's kind of nice. That's, that's where that's coming from, but a little all purpose stuff goes a long ways. Add some more milk to our gravy here. Reduce it on down. Eventually, we'll get it to a point where it's actually gravy, which is nice. So hopefully, it'll get there. But now it's time to go ahead and start prepping out for uh, <laughs> for our pizza dough. Because that name needs to go in the oven pretty soon. So we can kind of gel this all together. Now we might need a little, little tiny bit more milk. I'm moving this stuff around. We'll see. It'll stand up on its own. Before we stay there. Grab our crescent roll. Peel it out. I already have the oven preheated to right where it needs to be. No big deal. You're gonna scare yourself when you pop these open. At least I used to. <laughs> Again. No big deal. Crescent roll, cheap. They're easy to work with. Easy to pull apart. They kind of just come out like this. All right, we're gonna start on one side of our pan. And just kind of work it out. And roll it out. And use a little bit of that edge to crust. Our holes whenever they they show up. Sometimes with this crust, it, it tends to try to run away from you. you. Can't spread it out too evenly. It's all right. So you grab a little extra of the dough, patch your holes in. Just kind of stick it over whatever spot kind of opened up, and just work it back out. Nice thing with these crescent rolls is they, they give you a little bit of extra here. So we can peel a little bit more off and work that in for our crust. That'll, that'll be nice for our crust. Work it around. Some on this side. 
Ah, yeah. Cool. Fast on this side. Sometimes you're gonna have to take crust away on one side, move it all around. Just work it back out. And trust me, people are not gonna care. When you get to that point, you're like, dude, this pizza was hard to make, like it was falling apart. They just wanna eat it, okay? Oh, it's gonna burn? Nah, it's not going to burn. We're doing okay. We do need more milk though. It's closer to where I want it to be. But the nice part is, with our egg, it's going to bring everything together. Do I need... What does it say? Do I need help? Ah, no, I'm a... I'm a... Seasoned chef. I, I love this kind of stuff. Sweating it up in the kitchen, making good food. Over the last few days, something like that. I'm going to take a bit of that all purpose seasoning and probably work it into the crust a bit. More pepper to this. Just a little bit more. We're getting there, we're getting there, guys. Hopefully, you guys have uh, not had any pre order issues, right? With your uh, PlayStation 5s or your Xboxes. Me, I'm going to sit it out for a little bit. Let everything kind of Settle down. Yeah, gravy is pretty close to being done. And just make sure our crust is ready. Patch any of those holes we have coming through. Again, they were out of the pizza dough, so not not too big of a deal. Again, I like the, the crescent sheets; will be nice. They're a little fluffier. They'll, We'll perk up just fine. So at the end of this, you're looking at something kind of kind of sitting there like this, okay? I'm gonna stick in the pan a little bit, right? We're gonna we're gonna have to work it through with, with the spatula, get underneath it. But I got I already seasoned it, all right? So it's got some oil down. Gravy is looking real good right now. It's kind of the consistency you're looking for for this. So, I'll shut that off. I'm working a little bit of pepper into it. Because I, I don't want this to burn. I don't want it to, to get kind of too, too warm, too going on this. Yeah, just a couple little grams in there for that pepper. Work it back in. So with that pizza though, we do the eggs. I'm just gonna pour them right in the middle. Now let the the liquid kind of go wherever it wants. It's gonna help our base kind of stick up there. For our pizza, it's gonna let everything, all the ingredients, kind of hang out inside of where we want them to be. And if it goes a little over, no big deal. We're not gonna get hurt. Good. And we'll start layering in stuff: bacon, crispy little pieces. You guys want some? Right? No. I'm just gonna throw them in there. Mm 
I, I, I assume this is going to be about 20, 22 minutes, 23 minutes to go. So that'll be nice. Might be agent proper. What, what are you doing? Why are you putting your ingredients on top of your eggs? Why, why are you getting it this way? Well, it's, it's because I want everything to kind of be stuck together, All right? Probably gonna throw some mushrooms in there too. Those will come out nicely. Wash them up. Yeah, everybody likes the fungus. Breakfast or anything? Oh, okay, we had a little hiccup there for some reason. No big deal. Breakfast is coffee, right? If I'm making dinner, it's beer. Where are the turkey products? Uh, we have... Turkey happens once or twice a year. That's about it. <laughs> I like turkey. I like turkey legs, things like that at the fair. But I reserve turkey for Thanksgiving. That's pretty much it. Christmas has been prime rib lately. It's been nice. Get her. Get her little big spoon over here. I'm just gonna put some gravy in there. Just gonna cover everything with it. That's right, we like gravy. Kind of like putting a sauce down on your pizza. Just kind of layer it on in there. Again, if it pushes your egg around, it's not not a big deal. Your, your dough should be catching it. And if it pushes your egg out, well, it's not too bad either. Do some prep work. I know, rip to those day one views to anybody who's having issues with those. I'm sorry, man. But new, new console launches, they're always rough, right? all that gravy. Spread it around a bit. It's gonna look like a big mess inside your pan, so, so don't worry about that. Again, my, my vegetables are gonna go on later. All right. Probably gonna scoop up some of these guys right now. Potatoes, layer them out. Throw them in there. Try one. Yo, it's kind of warm. I didn't, I didn't think they'd come out this well. Doing your potatoes in the oven like that for a little while. It works. You do a little bit of cheese. I'll probably do cheese later as well. Hey. <laughs> no, it's a it's a breakfast pizza. You guys wanted the savory pizza, and so that's what we're going for. I hope I'm a better cook than DSP. That's for sure. I, I watched a lot of his cooking videos. I was like, cool, we get to see somebody cook, and it was terrible. Every single time, it was just terrible. I used about half the bag. So about a cup of cheese. All right. Everything's all prepped out, ready to go. And we're just gonna throw it in the oven. I got a little cleanup to do. Light morning jazz. Best part about cooking though is you get to eat it right away. So I'm, I'm probably gonna just save these potatoes. The rest of them. I still got the garlic, so we'll add that later as well. So now that all that prep work's done. We got, we got a little time to chill. Take a sip. Relax.
Ooh, that, that coconut oil in this coffee is pretty good. So, yeah. Holy crap, how many are there? There's 48 of you guys? Damn. What's up? Good morning. Happy Veterans Day. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here. Hopefully your morning's going as, as well as mine is. Uh, it feels good to get up, get motivated, get, get some stuff done, right? It's not too often I get a weekday off. Now you notice I, I didn't put a timer on. I mean, I've got a timer with your live timer up here that we're doing. But, uh, 20 minutes, roughly, is usually how long these take. I'm gonna give it a little peek every now and then. Yeah, AP tries it, that's for sure. So, apparently we're gonna do more of these. I might, I might end up turning them into just a membership kind of thing, doing a live stream, and then do other cooking videos, just like this. Do I have a curry? No, 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 no. I got, I got a Mr. Coffee. All right, it, it was like 16 bucks from Target. <laughs> so, a little five cup guy. Not, I'm not that good. I do drink my coffee black usually, with uh, a little bit of that coconut oil in it. That MCTs, They're, get those good fats in. Do I drink coffee while I'm watching Radar? Ah, maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, this is good music, huh? Keep our potatoes around here. Eat a few of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. DSP's in his chat already? I don't even know what time it is. What? Wow, he's early in his chat. That's impressive. Fair enough. I know some people don't like coffee. I do. You know, they get those good benefits from it. Coffee's good at doing a couple things, and it does one thing to me very, very well. So, thanks, coffee. You're the best. Oh, you're a Kyle kind of guy? Getting off on the monster train right away, Michael? Ooh. You taste that little bit of cayenne in these in that season. Pretty good. Yeah, I I know is that Phil is gonna be whining all day. It's gonna be funny. We're gonna go laugh at that later. After this pizza's all done. But again, I'll I'll write out the recipe for you. Since I'm not very good with that. <laughs> As you can tell, most of my cooking is kinda done on feel the how I like to roll but uh, yeah well that's gonna do it. that's gonna be nice that is it's gonna turn out like a deep dish kind of style with those eggs fluffing up with us it's gonna be pretty good all right I expect a two-hour rant about Amazon today don't disappoint me Phil all right we're prepped up I'm ready I got coffee in we're gonna have a nice breakfast pizza, right? So, we're just gonna chill, have a good time. Mm. Appreciate that word, Dog Leader. Thank you so much. Such a big help to me. I appreciate you being around, helping me out, helping me set up earlier. So, we got this nice little angle here. This morning, I was like, how, how am I gonna figure out? prep work and everything, so we cobbled it together. I was going to probably film from over yonder, but I, I figured that's a little, eh, it, it might work one, one of these days, but this angle isn't too bad, I think. Uh, 
don't think we need the fan anymore. We're not doing the unboxing videos. By the way, I didn't even know that that fire detector tells you that there's a fire. So, <laughs> go figure. I thought I thought I would alert it, you know, with other smokes first. What is my tank on the new consoles? Well, consoles nowadays, they are an easier avenue to game with. They're about the same power of a decent lined up PC, so cost-wise and user-friendliness plays a lot into what you want from a console these days. Um, I want to convert to PC. I mean, I've been an Xbox guy forever and a half. I've owned PlayStation throughout the year. Didn't, didn't get a PS4. I'll probably jump into PC land now. I just, a little dumb with consoles. A little bit dumb. Uh, launches the last few times have been terrible. This time is terrible, not their fault. I mean, it is Corona land after all. So yeah, I'm gonna probably build a PC instead. So we'll see how that goes. I, I've heard it's pretty easy now. I was just like kind of line up your slots. So they tell you everything, kind of plug and play, which is nice, which is nice. Ooh, that King's Kush. What a big hit. Oh, I can't mute. So you're gonna have to listen to a cough, probably. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are the secrets <coughs> of my fridge? That it's empty? <laughs> that it's empty? Actually, it's not. Alright, it's a mess in there. You don't wanna see. I've got some like Zevias in there, the the ginger ale ones. What else do I got floating around in there? Milk, basic stuff. Potatoes over. Eat another one. Let's check in on our see how our pizza's rolling. Oh, it's good. It's good. Nice. I see our our crust kind of slowly peeking up through all the eggs. But yeah, new consoles always have problems, right? With their immediate launches. And it happens, right? Not a big deal. Let's see here, where's the other floor I got? I have to use that one. Get a cut out. Rinse it off. Instant ramen stream. Instant? Instant, you know? What, what about this says instant, man? I mean, I'm, I'm down for a cup of noodles. Trust me, I've lived off of those for many, many, many years. But, uh, nah, that ain't me. <laughs> Ooh, a, a Doom Eternal stream, huh? With a, with a new PC setup? Want some that nice? I mean, there's no problem with the instant noodles, right? When you need a good snack, a little quick fix, go for it. It's empty calories, but go for it. All right, nothing wrong with that. Mm. Thyri, good luck. I know you are on that journey uh, that you're talking about last night. So, good luck to you. All right? Hopefully, hopefully you get away with it. <laughs> Oh, this made LSB appear. <laughs> He's gonna steal all our th all the thunder. Wow, oh, that's that's a shame. <laughs> Boiling water is hard. Not when you have an electric kettle. Not when you have one of those. It's just cheater mode. I like it. Let's see here, we got everything going. That's gonna be good. I have to up it a little more. Uh, chest day today? I don't know. I don't know. I still haven't signed up for a gym. I'm still on the fence about going to it. I've been doing some body weight exercises, things like that. I do a, a, a set of push-ups called Super 7s. Right? You get your, your diamond push-ups, right? You get your forward and back kind of yoga push-ups. You know, that kind of stuff. The full rotation ones, forward and, and back. Those are, those are good fun too. 
start with those and then I usually go for a little run or something like that. All oh, the outfit suits me? I, I appreciate that. I think I could look pretty decent in some flannel. So. How to grow taller? I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm average height. 5'10". So. But we'll see. Yeah, I, I just don't know if I trust a gym right now. I, I trust the people going to gyms. Because they're already, you know, taking care of of themselves because if, if you're going to the gym you're you're, you're going to be hanging out right you're already caring about your health enough you're, you're going to make sure you sanitize and clean everything <laughs> you're oh you're an inch taller nice. nice means that means you're perfect height for a hug right and the the apron streak is that what we're going for now oh you you guys need to go ahead and uh, give me money then <laughs> Oh, that's right, I heard that he's already being a Karen and crying about Amazon. Oh, that's, that's good fun. You're going to be 22. Nice. That's, that's a strong age. Right right when we can start doing all the legal drinking, having fun. Doing that kind of stuff. I mean, go out and experience it, but, but handle your business, too. Enjoy your birthday when it shows up. Big ups for your birthday. That's some good jazz. Put some little coffee sips in there. I wish I had uh, my height. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's, that's the best part about cooking like this is, is that you get to realize a little downtime too, right? Plus, I did some prep work beforehand, so you guys just didn't have to witness me chopping up the bacon and putting the potatoes in the oven, that kind of stuff. You know, I wanted it to, to streamline a little better. This has been great, though. This has been great. Thank, thank you for. Uh, Supporting me in this and showing up and dropping all those likes and telling everybody about it, right? I, I appreciate it. it you know, I, I want to branch out more like this. And if it seems like you guys are entertained by it, right? 60 of you, ride or dies, here every time I stream. You guys are the best. And I, and I mean it. Like, like, you show up. You show up, you drop the likes. You're probably already subbed, right? You hit that notification bell because, I don't know, <laughs> you wanted to. Uh, you guys are dropping more likes now too, damn. Guys, see, seriously, the best. This is what this community is about, right? We're doing different things, try different things. This thing I've never, never figured out why, what, what am I gonna put in here, huh? Like a spatula, I guess? I mean, I'm not gonna stick a knife. I guess you, I could put my joint in there, right? Put a joint in there, put a little J in there. Just fish it out. Oh. Probably wash your spinach here shortly. Get that ready to go in there. Just throw it over there. Oh. Hey Mary Sci-Fi, thank you. Can you get a dab? Of course you can. Of course you can. I'll give you a dab. Big ups, thank you for the five piece, Barry. Hopefully you're doing well. I know you got one of those big boy dangerous jobs out there. Do me proud. I understand what it takes to do your job. So, you know, stay safe out there, Mary. Please, please. But you're always right on Twitter. You're always the best. I'm smoking today on a little bit of King's Kush. So we got him in the damn pen right now. It hits pretty hard. I think it hit, clocked in at about, uh, let's see here, 70% or so in that THC. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna help you at Home Depot. Well, uh, surprise, surprise, maybe I do help you at Home Depot if you show up. 
Oh yeah, of course. Of course getting high will put in. Makes the food better later on, right? <laughs> Got some super skunk in there. Nice, nice. Some amnesia hazy. Are you all stoners? Am I wearing pants? Of course I am. Okay. I got the jeans on. Okay. We're on. Of course I have pants on. I went to the store, man. I mean, I get it. It's Walmart, right? I see people in pajama pants all the time in there. But why? Why? Put on some damn pants. I mean, Bill Burr had it said best, right? If you're doing a job in your pajama pants, not really a job. Right. Don't don't wear your Zelda jammies, roll out of bed, and go turn on the stream and pretend like you're a professional. Mm. You've been a stoner for half your life. Nice, nice. I only started a couple years ago, to be honest. You know, dabbled in it every now and then at a party or something like that when I got too drunk. But uh, once it came legal in California, you know, I had some friends who were like, dude, you should, you should get stoned with us. So I was like. It's like, I'm, I guess so, I'm getting stoned, and I'm not working, you know, driving the truck today, you, your brother's driving the truck, I'm like, we're going, going to work, so, fuck it, dude, <laughs> let's get ripped. We smoked like three bowls to that first job, it was great, it was, it was fun. Kind of never, never looked back after that, it was kind of buying my own shit, finding my own shit, and, and enjoying it. <laughs> you high, I don't, I don't feel that high, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm not wearing sunglasses. So you guys get the full on treatment of the baby blues. <laughs> have I ever been so stoned I forgot about food? No, no. Uh, I, I have left stuff on and, and kind of started burning some stuff. Been there, done that, but it was because I had to walk away and handle some other stuff. You know. But uh, it happens. Well, that's looking good now. Alright, we'll get that out in a minute. So, at this point in time, while I burn my arm to show you, I should move my trash can away from the oven. This is what we're looking at. Okay? That's where we're at. We're not done. No. No. Done. Since everything is kind of rising up, looking good, looking happy, eggs are kind of filling out there. This, this is when we're gonna get our garlic in there, our, our spinach in there. A little, little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I'm throw the tomatoes on. Kind of place them everywhere. The, the nice thing about putting your vegetables in there, I know some of you are like, eh, vegetables, like, what the heck? I'm, not, I'm telling you right now, your food's gonna look better, it's gonna pair nicer. The whole idea of, of cooking like this, especially when you want savory, you need a little balance, okay? The fresh tomatoes right here, and have the nice little little bit of tart will balance out those uh, salty potatoes. Work well with that cayenne pepper in those. And pop open this bag of spinach. And I'm only gonna do a handful of this. Shake them out for you. But yeah, just, just a handful of spinach. Kind of just throw it on top. It's gonna crisp up here, and it's gonna gonna do pretty well. Just need just need a little bit of it. That's how you can become a big boy, All right? Drink your milk. Take your vitamins. Do a little bit of spinach every now and then. It won't hurt you. Move it around a little bit. Put this in the bacon last so it's not a big deal. I really don't care. I'm gonna put some garlic on top as well. Because everybody likes garlic. Kind of lay it out there. While I'm doing the garlic last, is so I don't burn it all. I want it to be kind of nice and aromatic. I want I want it to be brown, but I don't want it to like catch on fire or anything in there. The same brand of garlic? You mean 
the Safeway jar? <laughs> right, I love garlic. I'll, I'll put on a full spoonful each and every meal. I love this stuff. I'm gonna go for the cheese again. Oh yeah, I don't like it when, when the garlic burns out and it's all crispy and stuff. It should help everything kind of lay down, hang out, be happy. Move it all around. The nice thing, too, you want to kind of look at is, is how everything looks. Because you, you eat with your eyes first. <laughs> oh, is YouTube having issues again? It's, it's not nice. I'm, I'm seeing no drops on my, my screen for like the last 25 minutes or so. But yeah. Ooh, it's a little hot. A little too hot for me. Surprise, surprise. It happens. Luckily, it's not hot enough, but that's where we're at. All right? We're doing good? Thumbs up? We're ready? Yeah, you might catch hiccups. It seems like YouTube's having issues. Back in the oven. Back into that oven real quick, like. Oh. See how long that jazz has to go. Well on time. Phil's been bitching in his stream. Doing all that kind of nonsense. How did, how did Spanish turn out? You know, when, when you're cooking, try out your fresh ingredients. You gotta try it. You gotta make sure it's okay. You don't wanna give give your family garbage. Right. You don't want the gross stuff. Up to normal. Finish off that coffee. Got one last sip in it. No worries. Ah. Put this away as well. I'll need you, garlic. Ah, what, a, what a nice way to spark my morning, huh? Hang out with my, my chat, making some breakfast pizza that you guys requested and desired. Way to start a day, that's for sure. Oh, oh yeah, my countertop. It was it wasn't that clean earlier. Trust me. But again, I'm showing you more of my place, so I'm gonna clean it up, make it look nice. Normally, this is how I like my countertop looking, right? Nice and clean. Usually, it's organized. Got to put away your aluminum foil. Lifesaver in the kitchen, by the way. All right. If you put that thing right there, like on, like on a pan like this guy where the potatoes were on, I would take the potatoes off, crumble that butt away, boom, throw it away, pan back, ready to go for next time. Saves you a little bit of cleanup. Can't go wrong with it. That's for sure. Strong jazz choices today. Get a little more water. Uh, a hype train? <laughs> snort bucks? Of course it's snort bucks. What else do you think I'm drinking? I mean, we have our own signature DIA blend. It's wonderful. It's dark and it's roasted. Little chocolate undertones to it. You know me, I, I like the candy. Ugh. No worries. I'm gonna peek in and make sure everything's not brightened up. Oh good, that cheese is melting. So when that cheese starts bubbling, getting brown, when that crust is golden on the outside, that, that's when we'll pull it out. And we'll probably transfer it over to the uh, cutting board. And uh, now we've got the big knife ready to go. So that's nice. Mm. 
waffles or French toast? I, I'm a waffle kind of guy. I like it. The, some nice butter can get in those little pockets. The syrup holds up. But I do like a good German pancake. You know, the nice big one with some powdered sugar, a little like lemon wedge, usually how I roll. A little butter, a little syrup over the top of that. Oh, so good. So good. Us Westerners are interesting. <laughs> I, I try to be interesting, that's for sure. Especially when I'm doing something like this. Oh, you're having noodles tonight. What kind of noodles? I made a, a bit of a country gravy out of the uh, bacon grease we used. So we, we use that as our sauce base for our uh, pizza this morning. I'm surprised the phone's holding up pretty well for the, the live stream. It's nice. Now, I've only done, I think, one other live stream from the phone, which is pretty cool. Did that uh, on the road when I got to go and see Mrs. Proper. So, I'll probably do that again. I'll hang out when, when I leave up to go up there. I'm gonna leave Saturday the 21st, and I'll be back Sunday the 29th, that night. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. It's been weird with the, the little YouTube hiccups here or there, but I, I don't think that's on my end. I think it's YouTube having some issues for whatever reason. Uh, look, a potato. Oh, you weren't feeling well. I'm sorry to hear that. Please get better. Please feel better too. Drink lots of fluids. Get lots of naps in. Right? This knife anymore? That's okay too. Oh, he's on the mic. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not too worried. We're, we're doing our thing. He he can be on mic and bitch and moan all he wants. But we'll, we'll switch the stream over here once we're all we got our pizza all set up and cooled down, so you guys can see the end product. So that's probably where you can see the end product be over there. I'll make sure I cool it down, plate it out, that kind of stuff. And uh, that's when I'll set up for the other stream too. Because I think we're just going to jump into a pre-stream today while I uh, download some some Destiny 2 for that new expansion coming out. Yeah. So Phil's going to currently cry. Oh my PS5! Oh. Again, it's his own damn fault. He doesn't want to change the money, you know? Some marinated pork chops. Baked potatoes, peas. Nice. That sounds pretty good. Now, you guys might have to tag me and stuff you want me to try to make. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a ton of fun. All right, and we're gonna we're celebra celebrate 12 years together. Mrs. Proper and I. So that's a long legacy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you put up to me, with me for so long, but I, I, I treat her right. At least I try to. Right? We all have our ups and downs, strikes and gutters, but again, I, I don't remember the last time we fought. We have a good time whenever we were together, so that's the important thing. And yeah, it's gonna be salty, isn't it, Michael? Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's my, my 12 year legacy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's how I feel some nights. But, you know, when you get along and you work so well with somebody and everything kind of feels right and feels pretty good, I'm happy. And when you're happy, you're able to be you, it's important, right? She, she's always allowed me to do whatever I want to do. Allowed me to be me. So, through different hairstyles, the big bushy beard, back to the mustache, back to the five o'clock shadow, she doesn't care. Just like she doesn't care about the streams. I mean, she supports me. She likes that I have a hobby doing this. But she's not going to be lurking on streams or anything like that. You know, she, she's let, letting that side be, be that side. Uh, oh, nice. That LSB streaming it. Maybe we, we can just chill and I can play some Destiny 2 and see you guys in LSB's chat, you know. 
that might be good too. And then we can just show up for a gnosis and point and laugh at everything later. That's always an idea. It's always an, a, a decent idea. Alright. My crust is starting to brown up in there. The cheese is melted over the top. Everything's starting to warm up. We're getting close on that garlic. It's, it's starting to starting to really get there. A couple more minutes. Again, we're, we're not too worried about the pig. He's gonna be crying. And I'm sure you guys are all seeing it right now on LSB stream or Dark Dave Mirrors. It's gonna be funny, that's for sure. That's for sure. Especially with the new uh, Superhound garbage coming out that he's gonna charge back five grand from Phil. What, what is he even doing? What? It do, does that make sense, guys? To, to me, it doesn't. I don't understand it. Uh, why would he be, like, how much money is Superhound giving Phil then? And who is he then? If he's giving him that much money. Uh, I, I don't see it happening, but again, we don't see Phil's side of this at all. He can claim all the chargebacks he wants. It, to me, it makes no sense right now. Say, say this $5 that Mary gave me earlier, you know, say, say she charges it back, right? Okay. It never touched my bank account, never went anywhere. It's just in and out, see you later. But with, with Phil, what he does, he gets that money to PayPal, right, through his tips, because he always begs for tips. And then he takes that money out. At least he's told us before. He takes it out. And he uh, transfers it right to his bank account. And he, he gets screwed over that. He's losing money for that. He has to take the percentage charge. That's why you're paying $1.30 to laugh at him every time you want a troll tip, which is dumb as hell. Because you're now covering his fee for his transfers. So, <laughs> he, uh, he's going to whine, he's going to cry, and I don't understand what he's talking about with this changing his payment method, right, for his PS5. Because if he used PayPal as his primary source, he's going to turn around and, for some reason, the bank account should cover it then. If, you, if he's attached a bank account to his PayPal, it should just automatically take the funds out of your bank account. That at least that, that's how I remember it working. So I, I think he screwed up. What did I make? I made a breakfast pizza, a savory breakfast pizza with some roasted potatoes, spinach, mushrooms, garlic, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese. The good stuff, the good stuff. Some, some nice applewood smoked bacon that was uncured. And a, uh, the sauce was a, a nice country gravy from scratch. So, I think we're about there. We're looking like it. We're, we're looking there. So this is your end result. Are, are you ready? You guys, I think you, you, you might be set to see this, right? Turn off the oven really quick. Don't want to leave it going. But this is, this is your end result here. A savory breakfast pizza. Oh yeah, that's it's looking good. So we can't get underneath it now. Kind of slide it out. See how it goes. Either way, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Oh, we're gonna have to soak that pan, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that, that came out real, real thick like. Fantastic. So yeah, we made a, a homemade savory pizza, breakfast style, some good stuff. So I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna take it out of the pan, put put it right in here. Go to a cutting board. We'll cut it up, get it, get some chilling. See you in LSB stream probably. We'll, we'll let, we'll cover whatever he's doing today and the Gnosis later for the night stream. And yeah, that's, that's it guys. Thank you for enjoying the first ever proper cooking show. I, I appreciate you being here. So look, look forward to, to getting the full recipe. I'm gonna have to write it down and put it in a tweet and uh, get that out to you guys. So, yeah. 
Am I gonna eat it? Yeah, I, I, I will eat it. Well, I'll send out little, the little tweet with the picture of the food done, ready to go. So, yeah. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe out there with whatever you're doing today. Happy Veterans Day. And uh, go left the pig. We'll, we'll see you later on tonight. <laughs> uh, no, no, we're, we're not going to see me eat it. <laughs> I don't think so. Not, not this time right now, because... Otherwise, we're going to wait for like 15 minutes, chilling, chilling. But, uh, yeah, no. Great cooking stream, first one. Big ups to all you guys for being there. And, uh, head over to LSB, and I'll, I'll meet you guys there in this chat, hanging out. So, let me just do a little clean up here. A little stuff to get ready. Thank you, Wardog Leader, for dropping that link for everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. I look forward to doing these more. We'll, we'll decide later on this stream to see what's next. Thank you. Stay safe. Have a good one, guys. I'll, I'll see you later. Big ups to all of you. The thumb. Get the thumb in there, huh? I think you all enjoyed it. Thanks, guys.